What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 7 Beta 4, which was released actually today, Monday, July 29th, 2013. This was actually delayed a week because the Apple developer portal was actually hacked by a user, and so I figured I'd give you a hands-on review of some of the biggest features and changes that they made in this iOS 7 Beta 4. So let's jump right into the video. I know you guys know that I have done a lot of videos on this. I reviewed the Beta 3, 2, and 1. And this is iOS 7 Beta 4 running on my iPhone 5, so I figured I'd do a review for you guys. So right off the bat, the first first change that they made it was actually on the lock screen as you can see the arrows on the top and the bottom are no longer arrows they are flat little bars you can still have access to the control center and the notification center by scrolling up and down but they made it less confusing and refined the lock screen so you can actually slide to unlock and these are no longer arrows they're rather just flat bars which makes it easier to understand another feature they actually added was in the camera app they added the HDR button to the center of the top of the screen which is good to see it makes it easier to take HDR photos um, also if you go into the phone app the actual calling uh, system has been changed the design has been changed the call button is now a big button also when you go to answer or decline a call when someone calls you the buttons are updated there so I can't actually show you that unless someone called me but you'll see what I mean if you guys actually update to this beta um, also another feature comes in snapchat a lot of people um, have been reporting and I reported this in iOS 7 beta 3 that you are not notified when someone takes a screenshot in snapchat or something like that Apple has updated that and now someone will be notified if there is a screenshot taken in Snapchat and things like that so it's good to see they're implementing the old features back into iOS 7. Also another feature comes in Spotlight if you scroll down from the top they actually added a cancel button there which makes it easier to go ahead and get rid of Spotlight just by clicking cancel so it's a nice little added feature there. Um, in Reminders, I actually noticed that if you open Reminders, they have added a search bar to Reminders, which looks pretty cool. You can see right through the wallpaper, and I like that a lot. Um, also, if you go into Settings, and then you go to Notification Center and scroll down, you can actually see that they have added, I have to find it here. They've added a completed uploads banner so it will show you when you have uploaded a video or something like that to or to photo stream, anything like that. They will have the uploads shown in the notification center. Also another change comes in the notification center now. If you go here you can actually scroll between the today view and the missed view and the all notification view which is very easy and very cool. They should have implemented that earlier on but I do like it. Um, you can also go into the music app and shuffle and download all of your songs to your music app. I know the music app was a little buggy last time, so it's good to see that they added new features there. Um, Siri has also been updated with new functionalities. You can ask it how many calories are in a bagel, how long something lives, uh, square roots of anything, all that good stuff. You can th basically ask it almost anything now, which is good to see. Something else I noticed is the multitasking interface is a lot smoother and animations are a lot, lot quicker. I no longer have the wallpaper issue where my wallpaper would disappear when I went and quit an app and then went back to the home screen, which is great to see. Um, it is a lot faster. I've been playing around with it all day and I like it a lot. A lot of new bugs have been fixed and this is really close to what I think their final operating system will be like. I'm sure they'll add a lot of new features in the near future, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was a quick hands-on review and first look at iOS 7 Beta 4. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and favorite it, as well as subscribe down there in the description. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel in the description as well. I upload videos and update those all on a regular basis, so those are great ways to stay in touch with me. And also, if you're interested in getting some paid iOS or Android apps for free, go ahead and check out the two links in the description. Those are two different ways that you can do that. So it's great to see. Uh, I actually use those on a regular basis as well. So go ahead and check those out and also stay tuned for more on iOS 7. I will be uploading more uh, videos on iOS 7 Beta 4 when I find more changes. I'm probably going to be doing my top 10 features or biggest changes on iOS 7 Beta 4 in the near future, so stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys, and again, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.